Mark, turn around. What's wrong? You all right? It's my wife, Jane. She's calling me. What is it? What's wrong? She's dying. How are you feeling? I'm fine. She's waiting for me now. She'll be taking me back soon. No! I won't! Damn it, I won't! I tell you, Jonathan, I don't know what's happening to religion in this country. We got one guy saying, if you don't send me a certain amount of money by a certain time, God is going to take me. And we got another guy hired this high-priced attorney, tried to get his ministry back because they caught him fooling around. Boy, I'll bet you the boss is fed up with it. Well, power changes people, Mark. Religion and politics are great places to gain that power. Yeah, it wouldn't change me. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Come on, Jonathan, you know me better than that. If I had the power, I'd use it to get people to try to do the right thing. Do what's right according to whom? Well, according to what I know to be right. Yeah, well, who are you to tell people what's good or bad or right or wrong? I mean, what makes one person so right, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. What's wrong? Boss changing the assignment? Hmm? No, no. I, I thought I heard something. It must have been my imagination. Mark, turn around. Jonathan, I know you don't trust my sense of direction, but our assignment is this way. It doesn't have anything to do with our assignment. What's wrong? You all right? It's my wife, Jane. She's calling. 
What is it? What's wrong? He's dying. sure there is something oh there's more than something there is everything in heaven and earth <sighs> will I see my Arthur
wish my daughter and the kids could have gotten here in time. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm uh, fine. She's waiting for me now. She'll be taking me back soon. What are you, you, you mean the boy? Yeah. He wouldn't keep me down here now, not with Jane up there. I'm gonna be able to hold her again soon. Yeah. So do you think? I don't know. Sometime tonight, for sure. Oh, wow. Hey, come on. We both know what's going to happen someday. Right. Just all of a sudden, you know. It's the last night together. Let's not stand here solving under some street light. You got it. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? We're starting to sound like that old Ernest Borgnine movie. <laughs> what do you want to do, Marty? I just want to be with my friend. some time, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. What am I gonna do now? I gotta tell you, man. The years I spent with you have been the greatest years of my life. You know, being around people, helping them. What am I gonna do now? What do you want to do? I don't know. I guess just go on helping people somehow. Then do it, Mark. You don't have to be an angel to help people. Yeah. It was a lot more fun when you got the stuff. Time. I don't know. I need to be alone. So what's wrong? He said, I can't go. But I'm needed here. I have an assignment. from me, Mark. You don't want to be with me anymore.
Valuables to pick up? Not a thing. How do you know where to find me? Well, I followed you downtown. Then I lost you, so I drove around for a while. Then I saw that theater marquee. The manager told me what happened. Hey, I was a cop, remember? What happened to you? I guess I'm just not as tough without the stuff. The boss took it away from you, huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, he's mad because I got angry because I told him he was wrong. Hey, <laughs> come on, Jonathan. Don't talk like that. You're the one who told me. What makes one person so right? Don't pay any attention to what I told you. You know, he's the one who put all those thoughts in my head, but no more. Jonathan, where are you going? Who cares? I care, Jonathan. What's going to happen to you? Yeah, well, ask him. He makes all the rules. Oh, look, listen to me. Just talk to him. Talk to him. Tell him you're sorry. Oh, no, Mark, I'm not sorry. See, I'm just like a lot of mortals now. I don't have any love inside me. I just have anger. You can't blame God for this? Why not? A lot of other people do now. I'm just like them. Listen, Jonathan, let me try to help you, all right? You want to help me? We're going to be the angel now, Mark. No, Jonathan, I'm trying to be your friend. If you remember something, pal, you're the one who taught me how to do that. You know, you want to be my friend. You got any money on you? Not the stuff I'm broke. Yeah, I got some money on me. What do you need it for? You gotta be kidding. I'm human, remember? I'm full of pity and I'm full of anger. And I'm gonna get drunk. Shot. Are you sure you don't want one? Get one of these. Don't you think you've had enough? No, 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 no. You know, it's been 40 years since I had a drink. Well, that means it's been 40 years since you've had a hangover. If you're just like us now, you are going to have a doozy. You know, I can live with it. Huh? That's a pretty, pretty good one from a dead guy. I can live with it. There you go. 380. she'd see her Arthur again.
Mr. Swell. Stop no more talk. Listen, listen. No more talk. talk. Like many, many great partnerships, this one's over. And you go on and you live your life. for me to say I'm sorry, you can forget it. I won't till you let me see my Jane. Okay. You want to be stubborn? I'll be stubborn.
Here. I brought you here from the beach. The beach? The ocean. Get out of here. Oh, come on, I made you some hot tea. Get out of here or I'll call the police. All right, fine, call the police. Tell them you tried to kill yourself. Show them what's left of your pills. They'll give you a blood test, and you'll end up in a county facility. Or wouldn't you rather sleep in your own bed tonight? Hmm? Right, then sit up and drink some of this hot tea. You picked a lousy night for a dip. Come on. Come on, that's not a sip. Drink some of the tea. Come on. People who are all right don't walk into the ocean at 3 o'clock in the morning and stand on the bottom. Come on, take another sip. Okay. Just lie down and get some sleep. I'm not sleeping. You bet. Come on, lie down. I don't know you. We shouldn't be here. That's right, you don't know me, and I shouldn't be here, but I am here. So go on, go to sleep. stuff. Come on, breakfast is ready. I'm not hungry. Look, saving your life was easy. Making breakfast this morning was a killer. Come on. Put that robe on and get your buns out of here. Some of your eggs, they're good for you. You don't have to tell me to eat. I'm not a child. There, are you happy now? Delirious. Look, it's um, getting late. Don't you have a job to get to? No, I just got fired. With the same firm for 40 years. 40 years? You don't look old enough to be with a company that long. That's because I eat all my breakfast. Talk about last night? No. Okay. I 
I have been in love with a man for a very long time, and... And? And we plan to move out here. Spend the rest of our lives together. I came out ahead because he had business to take care of. And that was the last time I ever saw him. No call, no letter. Just gone. Now, would you call him? I tried. His phone was disconnected. Even our old friends don't know where he is. Six months. I figure after six months, I can take a hint. And that was the reason for last night? Hey, well, I don't get it. What were you, what were you trying to accomplish? <laughs> what were you going to do, kill yourself and then make him feel guilty? Don't flatter yourself. I don't think it'd bother him. How do you know? Did he ever tell you he loved you? <sighs> of course he told me he loved me. Well, then he's an insensitive jerk. I mean, come on, some guy tells you he loves you and then he pulls something like this. And you think he's gonna feel guilty? Forget it, he's gonna brag about it. He's gonna go to his buddies and say, hey, this poor dame, she was so much in love with me, she killed herself. He would not say that. I'll bet you dollars to donuts he would. You know, you're probably right. Yeah. Not exactly the kind of guy you'd want to spend the rest of your life with. Oh, I'm so angry. Great. Nothing wrong with being angry, as long as you got it headed in the right direction. Oh, I do. I do now. Oh, I wish you were here for just one minute. Hey, what would you do, Telemon? Oh, would I ever. Well, who cares if he's here? Come on, get it off your chest. Go on. And you are a louse. Do you hear me? You are a louse. Feel better? A hundred percent. No more silly than nice women. Not on your life. That's it, I'll get out of your hair. Where are you going? You just said you're okay. Yeah, but I, uh, I haven't even thanked you. Yes, you And you said you're okay. Take care, sir. How you doing? I'll be done in a minute. Mark! 
Mark. Mark Gordon. Hey, Hank Ads, how you doing? I'm doing fine. You just get in town? No, actually, I've been here for a few days. And you didn't come by the camp to see us? Well, I uh, just didn't have a chance, you know? Where's, uh, where's your partner? We split up. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that, huh? Yeah, me too. You still with the same firm? No, uh, actually, that was Jonathan's job. I was just sort of his assistant, you know, and when he quit. Mark, if you're looking for work, I got a great spot for you. Blind school. Thanks, Kaz. That's, that's really nice of you, but... Has nothing to do with being nice, Mark. You were great with those kids. Great. Come on, what do you say? I just don't think I'd be good around him right now, you know? You're feeling real down, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Well, Mark, if you need somebody to talk to, you know where to find me. Thanks, Cass. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I just need some time, that's all. Just remember what I said, if you need somebody to talk to, okay? Thanks a lot. I'll see you. Where are you going? Just walking. You need a lift somewhere? No, I'm, I'm not going anyplace special. Me neither. I'm just taking a ride. What a nice day for it. Yeah. If you're not going anywhere special, why don't you join me? You don't want me tagging along. You know, I felt bad after you left. I, I mean, I'm okay, but I felt kind of lonely. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, what the heck, I'll ride around for a while. <laughs> So, what did you do before you got fired? I didn't exactly get fired. I had an argument with the boss. <laughs> Can't win those. Yeah. What did you do? I was called human resource development. Fancy name for working with people trying to help them. You miss it? No. What about you? I worked for a law firm back east. That's where I met the rat. I haven't really looked for anything out here. I was planning on settling down and raising children. What do you do for money? I have a trust fund. I really don't have to work. Yeah, you probably should. It's healthier for people when they're accomplishing something. God, no! <laughs> No matter how you feel, this isn't the way. Let go of me. No, I'm not going to let you kill yourself. Oh, God, I'm not the dog. What dog? There. Hey, move it, will you? I'm, so I'm sorry. That's why I yelled. I saw her get hit. The car didn't even stop. Looks like it's either a leg or a hip. I'm not sure. She doesn't have any tag on her. Got to get her to a vet. There you go.
I feel wonderful. Hey, we are wonderful. I mean, come on, how many people in this world would have just driven right on by? Hmm, just think, if you hadn't been there last night, I might not be here today. And if I wasn't, that little puppy might not be here. So that makes you twice as wonderful, doesn't oh. it? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I guess both us wonderful people better be going our separate ways. Well, where do you live? I mean, at least let me drop you off. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm kind of in between places right now. Well, good luck. Oh, good luck to you. Good luck with the pup. Mm. It's on. Jonathan? Yeah? Look, um... <laughs> I can't believe I'm being this, uh... <clears throat> I live alone, and you don't seem to have a place right now, and I have a perfectly good restroom. <laughs> Guest room. <laughs> I like being with you. Oh, I like being with you. Then what do you say? Are you sure? Very sure. Okay. 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 Hey, you know, I was thinking, what, what if I made a little card for the pup's hindquarters? I, I've seen it on TV. That sounds great. And you gotta watch them all the time in case the cart falls over. But at least you can get around. Oh, let's try it. Okay. I really do feel wonderful. So do I. 